Okay guys, so what I'm gonna show you now is how to set your KO8 up properly. Now, this one's gonna be an outdoor setup. So first off, you take your straps through the top ring like so. All the way through. Come over to your anchor point. Now for me, I'm using this bowl here. And all you're gonna do is wrap around Make sure we go through the back of the cam buckle, guys, not the front, because if we go through the front, it will just simply slide out. So just make sure you go through the back of the cam buckle like so, and then all you simply have to do is just pull until you get your desired height. Now, what we always recommend, guys, is your KO8 handles just below the knee. So obviously, some of us are a lot taller than others. It might be a little bit higher for you. It might be a little bit lower for somebody else, okay? So now, from this position, what we have, with the big black carabiners down to the bottom D-rings is full suspension, okay? So all your body weight movements that we're gonna take you through will be this position from here. So your rows, your squats, your presses, anything using the suspension assistance is always gonna be from this position, big black carabiner down to there. Now, how we change it up, we take the carabiner off, we slot it into the top D-ring like so. Always try and get in the habit of doing that, guys. And now we have three black bands and one red. Blacks are 10 kilos each and the reds are six. So obviously, certain exercises, you're gonna be working a lot more compound moves. You can move a lot more resistance. Other exercises, they need to be a little bit lighter. So all we simply do here is take off the clips, clip it into your top D-ring and now we have 10 kilos less, okay? So, that's how you set your KO8 up, guys. On an outdoor, we will show you the indoor with the door anchor points as well. Hope you enjoy your workout. We'll see you soon.